What's up guys, I'm Shane and welcome back to the Relegation League. For anyone who missed it and didn't stick around in the full episode last time, we are still undefeated. We're up to number 13 in the country. I I'm not 100% sure how. So I don't, I don't know if we can make the natty. Obviously there's going to be a playoff, but I'm only doing a four team. I'm not doing the eight team. Unless we're in the top four, then maybe I'll mess around and do an eight team. Yeah, I don't know. This is, uh, it's going pretty well. I'm not too worried about it, honestly. Like, if we lose, we lose. I'm more bummed out about the fact that the recruiting is not going the way I want it to. But we've still got the solid foundation for a team, and if we don't sign anyone else for the remainder of this dynasty, then uh, we'll be okay. We're taking on the emus today. We got some prospects coming in to visit. Maybe we can impress them. I'm not getting my hopes up. And finally, a snow game. Oh, wait, we've had snow games. It's Casper we haven't had one. What is? What are the emus wearing? Why do they have silver helmets? I don't know how I feel about that. All right, we're going to go conservative to start off with. Let Shelton warm up. That got blown up. Just take off, Shelton. Slide down. No fumbles today. And wide open qualls. Even a throw on the run getting there. All right, well, I guess that's what we got to do today. Slide. Nope, he didn't slide. That's all right. He held on. I'm pretty sure he's got 91 carry. I think we're going to be okay. Big blitz coming. Just <laughs> let the cornerback just sit and watch you, Shelton. It's okay. We'll get a lot on the ground today. There we go. Qualls on that little... Uh, not a drag. I don't know what they call it. An in? I think it's an in. I know the different route trees, but God forbid I actually learned the names of any of them. The problem is there's a blitz. You know, here we're going to learn something today. So it looks like a blitz is coming from the left, but we're pulling a guard. So let's see if this is a very good or a very bad play call. It was all right. Okay. So if a blitz is coming from the opposite side, that's actually okay. Gibson's out here, though, so that part's not good. And I managed to ricochet off that a different receiver. Hmm. Shelton bruises elbow. He'll be back soon. <sighs> Can't convert. Coach wants to go for it. Again, it's just the snow. I don't think the kicker is quite good enough. Um, I don't like the read option there, though. There we go. Williams broke a tackle. Pick it up five. It'd probably be going better running the ball if I was on aggressive runs, but I'm not about that in the snow. We've taken off almost the entire first quarter on this drive, and I am okay with that. Nice tag by Williams. Ooh, he breaks off a tackle. Again, conservative catch, and he still broke off that. Gibson's still out here, huh? That's all right. Shelton can take some time to rest. I wish I had Shelton right here. That's still a rushing touchdown. If I had Shelton, that would have been an easier one. But <laughs> I'm not going to complain. Still worked out perfectly. 7 nothing lead. I know it's cold. Did the game have to freeze? Oh, no. It actually froze here. Uh, okay, hold on. Okay, I fixed it. Sort of. We're up 7 nothing still. We just kicked the ball to them. There's an extra minute on the clock. Uh, and it's not snowing anymore. But otherwise, it's exactly the same. I was tempted to keep restarting the game until there was snow, but that seemed way too tedious. Also, they do have sets with green in them, so it's not just silver or bust. Which is good, because it's not really a good look. And he missed wildly on that. And a terrible punt. Oh, also, Shelton didn't get injured this time. Not that it really made too much of a difference. Other than he got the rushing touchdown instead. Also, I'm way better at this game when I'm not trying to do commentary. Not that that's really a surprise to anyone. Okay, that counterplay did not work. I should go back to not talking. Okay, this might be a blitz coming. It's definitely a blitz coming, right? Yeah, Williams wide open on four birds. 
I don't know, maybe it's just me, but if you're going for a blitz and a night audible in the five wide, maybe maybe change your defense a little bit. All right, Norrell's with a three-yard rush, which means he's on positive rushing yards for the season now. Ooh, I went to slide. Uh, that guy missed the tackle. He dove and luckily didn't fumble it, but I probably could have taken that for another, like, ten yards. And now Coach wants halfback dive. All right. Halfback dive's not working because I got a linebacker just lurking. Safety blitz. There's a couple open receivers, but I'll take this. Shelton, stop diving. Slide. Slide. I know it's not snowing now, but it's still cold. You can still fumble that ball. Oh, X stopped running on the side. It's just Shelton scrambling today. Although that probably means he's going to go down injured at some point soon. And, oh, I was going to say, there was a wide open hole right there, but only for a second. That time it worked. Another three and out by the defense. All right, I need something a little more comfortable today. Oh, there's our first good halfback dive of the day. And a read option actually stays with Williams. Was that... Oh, that wasn't a face mask. That's all right. That's still seven. Oh, <laughs> I should not have thrown that. I didn't see that guy just standing right there, but luckily Williams was right at the spot where I threw the ball to. I don't even remember which prospects are in the visit and what they want. I have no idea. Couple good cuts by Williams, and we easily pick up that first. I'm not even trying to chew the clock. It's just this offense. I think it's just Shelton has me scared. I don't want to throw the ball deep. Like, I'd rather pick up, like, the five yards here and there, so I'm ultra conservative on offense. It's working, so why would I change it? Like, <laughs> look at this. Oh, God, I didn't slide. He's out of stamina. He's going to go down hurt soon. I really need to stop doing this. And down for a sack. Now he's injured. Wow, Gibson. That's not what you should be throwing the ball like. What's the flag? Okay. Sure. I'll take a free set of downs. I had X wide open. Gibson threw it to the wrong side of the field, and somehow that worked anyways. Oh, I went to... Dang it. Timeout. I am way too used to having Shelton out here now. This is a design rollout, and we missed him. Yeah, I'll take that. I just need to pick up a few yards. That's fine. This is still going to put us up by three possessions. Like, that that sack sucks, but at least we're still staying in field goal range. That was actually a really good scramble there. And the field goal's good. Going to the halftime, up 17 nothing on the Emus. Defense just gave up a 74-yard touchdown rush. Good job. All right, it's still Gibson out here. Hold on, I never got an injury update. Please don't be terrible. Concussion out for the game. Uh, uh, that sucks, but I can deal with that. And Williams, nice catch. Ball delivered accurately. Good catch by Brank. Nope. I was going to go triple option there. They stacked the line. Hmm, halfback dive's not looking too much better, but oh well. Cut that outside. Never mind. That was great. Another good run by Williams. Ten point lead. Williams still out here. I'm just going to do the safe bet and just go halfback dive again. Like, yeah, that's a cute blitz. Usually play action power O is not the play I want to go with, but I like my tight ends. And there we go. Brank with the touchdown. What an interesting turn of events that just was. So a 10-yard penalty against the offense, 5 against the defense, then 10 more against the offense, then a negative 3-yard run. And now 4th and 13, we're going to get the ball. 
Nothing like a three and out that took like eight plays. And that punter, I don't know if he's afraid of Williams or if he's just awful. I'm pretty sure in the J-Kid sliders, their, pump, their punter gets like pumped up slider. So he's just awful. They're bringing a safety blitz. I may as well go for the kill shot. I mean, I missed him wildly though, but that would have been it. But again, there's a seven point or eight point difference in overall or whatever between Gibson and Shelton. But the throw power, throw accuracy, they're all pretty much the same. Oh my God, Williams. And that's why Dan Williams is not a starter on this team despite being like legendarily good at the halfback. I wish this was Shelton out here. All right, I think now we're officially at the point where I'm just going to start chewing the clock. It's in the fourth quarter now. As long as I don't turn it over here, we're either going to go up by 20 points or 24. So, I mean, they're just about... If I mercy ruled the computer, they'd get mercy ruled right here. Good run by Gibson, even getting that stiff arm. That was risky. And he gives some guy, some guy a piggyback ride. Doing it all on that run. Oh, and then he threw a pick. I thought Williams was open on that one, and then that safety came running in. That's what I get for not truly paying attention. And, of course, because of the momentum, they score a touchdown. But they kick it right to Matheson. That's the upside of having all these receivers. <laughs> Halfback dives is going for more and more every time I run it. I should just be doing that. Yep, another 12 yards on halfback dive. Why do I bother with anything else? And Williams in for a touchdown. Not really garbage time. I was just running halfback dive. Then he just got into the end zone. That'll wrap it up. All right, got a little more interesting at the end of the game than it should have, but still a dominant victory over a lesser opponent. That's what we need to pile up. And we got a le another level up. I don't even know what the skill points do we... Oh, we get kitchen sink now. Oh, wait a second. I gotta go reevaluate the entire recruiting board because now we can get kitchen sink. Maybe it's not a lost season for recruiting. Final stats on today. Shelton went 6 of 8 for 66 yards before he went out injured. Gibson, 3 of 8 for 34. Touchdown and a pick. Rushing Williams had 19 attempts for 115 yards. He was slow going at first and built up steam. Two touchdowns. Shelton had 9 for 78 and a touchdown. Gibson, 7 for 36. And hey, Norrell's got 1 for 3. I said he got back in the positive yards for the season. He didn't. Now he's just at zero. Receiving, not not much. Brank, 215 with a touchdown. Agnetovich, 1 to 16. Grimes, 1 to 10. Williams Jr., 1 for 19. Yeah, all the Williams getting involved today. Scott led the team with four tackles, so that's how well that went. Four total TFLs, one sack by Joseph. Whatever recruits we had in the visit, this was not impressing them. And uh, no turnovers, no kick returns to mention. All right, I'm going to go take a look at the board, probably take some points away from some people, go up to 550 on others, and I'll see you next week. All righty, so even with Kitchen Sink, we didn't sign anybody that we were going after. We did sign a 66 overall defensive end who I wasn't actively pursuing, so I guess that's cool. We're up to number 10 in the country, though, and if you look ahead, NC State just fell down from number 4 all the way down to 9. We somehow jumped Oregon. I don't, I don't know how. Top four is pretty stacked, but luckily there are two uh, Big 12 teams here. Like I said, if we're in the top four, I'll do an eight-team playoff. I think that, I don't know. I guess it would depend on what it looks like. I kind of still just want to do a four-team playoff. Maybe what I'll do if I can get the playoff to work. If we are still in a group of five conference and we hit the top four, then we have an eight-team playoff, so we really have to challenge ourselves to get that natty. But if we're in a group, of, like a power five conference, like if we're actually promoted, then it'll just be a four-team playoff. Maybe that's how I'll do it. Just so we face some sort of gauntlet, because like now we're just sort of cruising through the MAC. We got a couple easy, you know, hard opponents coming up. A couple easy ones, too. We still got Purdue and Northwestern. They're pretty good schools. They're better than us. But overall, I mean, even with those two, let's say we drop both of them, we'll probably still go 10-2. Unless we, like, really blow something up. Taking down the Bobcats, this is our last home game of the season. 
This is it. We're already done. This is week 11 because the schedule just screwed us. No bye weeks, no nothing. So no other prospects wanted to come in to visit. This is it. This was their last opportunity. So we're just have to hope. Oh, I meant to switch back to the gold pants. I hate not having that many options, but what are you going to do? All right. Ohio is 6-1 and one in the season. Obviously, we're undefeated at 7-0. and oh, So this is a big battle here. And uh, they decided to start off on offense, which sucks because that's what I like to do. That guy ran the opposite way of me. I tried. You want to take off again? Well, hey, there's sack number one. Take it off to the outside, and he's taken down. Good job, 94. Come on. Okay, perfect. Take it down again. Joseph again. Two sacks in three plays, fourth and 20. I hate the fact they were five wide there because I could not sacrifice a man to be on a QB spy. All right, nice opening scramble by Shelton, and he doesn't get injured. Let's take a little pass over to Williams, picking up seven. Oh, Texas A&M TCU are playing this week. Oh, that's a hell of a matchup. I wish I was watching that instead of this. Oh, that's right. Those two are in the same division. They can't even meet up in the championship game for the conference. Williams again on four verts. It's so cheesy. I understand that. But, like, I just work with what I got. I haven't tried a speed option in a bit, and it doesn't look like today's the day. Slide down. There we go. Third and two. Coach is straight out of the playbook. He's like, hey, let's go halfback dive. All right. Got some good blocks and barely falls forward for it. The blocks was there. There was too many bodies. And Shelton down injured. I should have just thrown the damn ball away. Should have just gone halfback dive last time. Let me uh, remedy that here. There we go. I could have done that and kept my quarterback. Oh, he finally threw a pass. Oh, he cut it back inside. That's okay. Wrapped him up. He only picks up four. Oh, he broke off the tackle. I'm like, oh, we actually wrapped nope. that up. No. Oh, my God. Okay, he's still going. Shelton tore his peck. He's out seven weeks. All right. Well, that's a wrap. I don't even think that makes him back for the natty. Like, if we got that far, it's just sh <laughs> it's Gibson for the rest of the year now. Oh, I took a bad angle, Richardson. And Harris almost with a pick. Okay, they missed the field goal. Uh, now we charge back out this offense. All these recruits coming in, and we just got nothing to show for it. Just the Gibson show again. That was a pretty good run, though. Wow! Gibson's just trying to give that one away. Never mind. This has to become the Williams Jr. show right now. Good job, O-line. Hmm. I still like my chances with halfback dive. Perfect. There we go. Nice little corner. Oh, and Matheson takes it for 15. Maybe not having Shelton out here means the wide receivers will get more involved. Sure, Ignatovich on a little one underneath. I think the perfect scenario here would be to drain the clock, get a touchdown, and then we get the ball to start the next half. So I was going to go for a little screen there, but they're not bringing a blitz. So I'm fine with halfback dive here. And, uh, ooh, nice truck at the end there. All right, well, we still put up a two-possession lead. There's just 49 seconds left. And we got a sack. Fourth and 13. I can hit a four verbs here and just bring it up to, like, the 35. Or not. Oh, blitz coming. Wait a second. He threw it so far behind Williams. He cannot hit him. Maybe they'll do it again. Bring that safety blitz again, guys. No. You suck. 
All right, we kind of just ate way too much clock on that one. Should have trusted Williams. Down, take a time out. We got it. Somehow, one second left. These are bonus points anyways. Alrighty, going in the halftime. Again, a 17-0 lead today. But this time, we get the ball. Sure, I'll hit Williams on a little pass there. Why not? Get him involved. I'm really tempted to start chewing clock here, but we, we won't. Oh, number seven looked at us and just kept going. Nice blitz. I mean, sure, Gibson hasn't been able to hit a broad side of a barn today, but I'll give this a shot. There, he got him that time. Williams is pretty much going for the first player in channel history to get back-to-back to Sean -back to Gaddy Awards, and I'm here for it. Oh my god, that's a great halfback dive. I bounced around a little too much. Picking up 12, going right on the goal line there. And there we go. I know it's only halfway through the third quarter, but I think that pretty much uh, clinches it here. And considering I already got my quarterback hurt, I'm probably going to chew clock and try and keep it conservative from here. Well, Williams fumbled the kickoff. Nope. So that's not good. Nice nope. stiff arm, though. Another nice stiff arm. I was just going nuts with breaking tackles. Oh, I think I'm hoping that the next team in the relegation league is actually garbage. So this way, like, I can just recruit people and use them. How much fun would Williams be right now? And then I got Ignatovich, so, I mean, do I even need wide receivers? Like, Dan Williams might be the best prospect I've ever scouted at halfback. Not the best halfback, but just the best prospect. And I'm not even going to probably end up using him. Because I got this guy. I have no idea how Gibson all game could not throw a ball at all. And then this time it was running the wrong way through the ball on the run. And it was perfect. That doesn't make any sense. That does not obey the laws of physics. But nice snag by Matheson. Ooh, Williams fumbled that one. I mean, they gotta go for aggressive tackles, but they just, like... <sighs> what is this formation? That's an easy touchdown. That's what formation it is. Okay, I'm trying to chew clock, but literally every halfback dive is going for 15 yards. Williams started this drive with, like, 70 yards on the ground. Now he's up to 126. So I might as well go for a fifth touchdown for him today. Yeah, there it is. That, There we go. There's a record. And on top of that, he just broke the record for touchdowns in the season. Okay. It, again, this game went so well. Kind of forgot that uh, we lost Shelton for the year. Final stats on today. Gibson, 9 of 13, 129 yards. No touchdowns, no picks. Shelton, before he went out, was 2 of 3 for 27 yards. We'll see you next year, bud. Rushing Williams, 20 carries for 132 yards, five touchdowns. Long as a 15, a bunch of them for 15. Gibson at 6 for 44, Shelton 3 for 24. Williams also had four catches of 75 yards. Matheson 2 for 34, Williams 2 for 4. <laughs> Ignatovich 2 for 36, Williams at 1 for 7. All right, <laughs> defense, not a lot of tackles. Four TFLs, all from the defensive line, perfect, and three sacks, also from the defensive line. We just blew away that recruit. Richardson swatting two passes, Harris swatted one as well. And that'll wrap this one up. 8-0 on the season, we're doing well in conference, we're number 10 in the country. Let's see if we can keep this one rolling. But thank you guys so much for watching. If you like the video, please be sure to hit like down below. If you want to see more from me, be sure to subscribe. Hit that notification bell to get it delivered directly to your inbox every single time I upload. Any thoughts, suggestions, whatever you may have, leave it all down in the comment section below. Everything you leave down there, I will always respond to, unless you are the trolliest of trolls. Thank you guys for watching. I'm Shane. I'm out.